When it comes to bullying, one of the things that many of my clients struggle with is they don't necessarily know for sure that the child is being bullied, but they suspect it. And sometimes that's because either the child is not telling the adults in his or her life what's happening or is unable to. Right. And so Julie and I over the years have found some red flags that the adults around a child who might be concerned about bullying can start to recognize that, hey, something may be wrong. Right. And the reason they're red flags is that, as Jen said, uh, sometimes your child may not be telling you because they're internalizing it. And for whatever reason, they just feel that they can't advocate them for themselves mm -hmm. or tell you about it. In other cases, like you said, it might be that they're actually nonverbal. So right. what's one of the first red flags you can look for? And again, you're going to have to work with the school district to or your school um, to understand this is that your child might be going to the nurse's office more often than he should be or she should be. You know, excessive nurse visits is actually, I think, a red flag in general for mm -hmm. kids as to whether or not they're finding success in school. And certainly it could be a sign of bullying. And because what it may mean, and of course, the kid could be sick. I mean, I'm, right. I, that's why it's a red right. flag. It doesn't necessarily mean this right. is what's happening, but it's, it's something that makes you think a little bit. Right. If a kid is trying to remove themselves from the education environment a lot by going to the nurse's office, it could be, again, that they're sick, but it could be something's happening in school that they're not happy with. They want to be sent right. home. Right. Um, it's, sometimes it's not intentional. Sometimes right. it's, it's uh, where they're somaticizing is the term, I believe, right. where they are actually having physical symptoms from something that's happening in the environment that's upsetting to them or isn't successful. But I've noticed a lot in my practice that kids who are being targeted or bullied in school start to go to the nurse's office a lot. And so that is right. a red flag. And another thing that they may be doing at school is perhaps opting out of going out to recess. Yep. yep. Um, might be opting out to go to the lunchroom or sit at the same table they've been sitting at. Yeah. Um, you may find that your child um, in school is going to the um, the restroom yeah. more often um, than they should be. And so these are things that are, would be happening within the school. So if you suspect bullying, it's something that you can check in with mm -hmm. the folks at school to see if they're seeing the pattern as, as well. As far as out of school, mm -hmm. um, another red flag is perhaps refusal to go to school. Yeah. Yeah. And so that might be in the morning that they're getting up and saying, oh, mom and dad, I don't want to go to school today. Right. And obviously, if you see a pattern of that, right. that's another red flag. And why don't you talk, Jen, just about school, not even going to school. Well, and that, <laughs> again, just like excessive oh. nurse visits, missing school a lot or school avoidance is a red flag. It's a red flag in general that something yeah. may be wrong, but it's particularly one for bullying because one of the things that as an attorney I've found fascinating in researching this issue from a legal perspective is the the federal government is concerned about this issue from a disability perspective because we know that so many kids are missing school or avoiding school because of being targeted at school. Mm -hmm. So they stop going. And so a student's entitlement to receive a, a free mm -hmm. and appropriate public education through the special ed law is completely denied and, and the kid is being what I call de facto, meaning as a matter of fact, expelled from school because they don't go anymore. Right. Because they just don't want to see that bully. They just don't want to be right. targeted anymore. So they stop going. Right. And, and, you know, and sometimes that's why you have a problem with a kid not telling the adults is they're afraid of retaliation by the kids. And, right. you know, if they know that you're the kind of parent who's going to complain about it or go, go mm -hmm. to the school district about it, then they may, you know, say, I'm just not going to tell my parents. And so this is a big sign something's going wrong in school when there's a school avoidance problem. But these are all red flags and um, they should be taken very seriously.